Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to merge different cells into one single cell. For example, what if you have text and you want to put first name, middle initial, and last name all into one cell? So let's get started. My name is Jeff from Finally Learn. I help you finally learn financial literacy, including Excel. Now the first way we can do this is Flash Fill. Flash Fill is an easy format if you're on Windows, it's Control-E. If you're on Mac, it's still Control-E. There's a button. Let me show you how it works. Let's say we want first name, middle initial, and last name. So we want Scott B. Johnson. So you have to type one in. Well, you don't want to do that a hundred times or a thousand times. So you can go to, on the Home ribbon, go to the Fill button, and then Flash Fill. It will copy it all the way down. It sees the pattern. It's taking first name and a space, middle initial and a space, and last name. It's putting it all together. Now sometimes flash field does not work because what you have is you need to have it contiguous, needs to be next to it. Sometimes if you have flash field over here to the right somewhere, it may not work. So flash field is not always consistent. It's very good and it's an excellent way to do it, but it's not always consistent. So let's show a different way on this. What if you wanted it to be Johnson Scott B. Well, certainly you can do that, and I'm going to do um, Control E, copies it down. It has a last name, comma, space, first name, space, middle initial. That's excellent. So Flash Fill works really well. Let me try to go back and do the original Flash Fill. Now, you also can do a formula. You may not know you can do a formula but you can do a formula just like you can with numbers. So let's get started with our formula. We're going to do equals and Scott. And the way we put uh, cells together is the ampersand sign, which is above the 7. So Scott and B and Johnson. Now, I put it together without any spaces because I want you to see how this works. You see this is A6 ampersand B6, ampersand C6. So what we have to do is force text in there, and the way we force text is we do an ampersand, double quote, space, double quote, and then before we do the last name, we do double quote, space, double quote, and another ampersand. So every time there's text in between, instead of the plus symbol, we have to use the ampersand. So you see how this works? So it is Scott and space and B and space and Johnson. So we can just copy this all the way down. Now if you decide to copy, copy and paste, let's just paste it. Well, you see it's there as a formula, but there's nothing over here, so it doesn't have a way to show Patricia J. Gallatin. So what we want to do is we copy and paste and we're going to paste special values and there we have within that cell is the actual text Patricia space J space Gallatin so that's that's how you do it now the old function that people are familiar with you may have been familiar with it is concatenate concatenate just means put things together so let's do concatenate we'll search over here in the formula builder concatenate and so what we're going to do is we're going to put Scott, and then the text 2 is going to be a space, text 3 will be the B, text 4 will be a space, text 5 is Johnson. So we have put together, we've concatenated three things plus two spaces. So here we have the traditional way of putting things together is called concatenate. Now in 2016, there's two new functions that's going to replace concatenate, and there's a new function just called concat, and there's a brand new function called text join. Let me show you how each of these work. So on concat, let's search for concat here. You have to spell it correctly. Concat. It's the same type of function. We're going to take the Scott and then the space, text 3, is the B. Text 4 is another space. And text 5 
is Johnson. Now, one thing you pay attention to, when I'm using the formula builder, if I hit space, it goes ahead and wraps it in double quotes. If you're building the formula directly, you have to put double quotes and then a space because that's a text string. So hit done, Scott B. Johnson, all the way down. So concat and concatenate are very similar. Concat is the new one, so I suggest you use that in future uh, spreadsheets. But what happens is concatenate is very common and it's in a lot of old spreadsheets. So, so be careful if you're having to go back and look at an old spreadsheet, you'll see concatenate. And that's still an existing function. Now the last one is going to be text join. So let's look at text join. So text join has a, a different idea. On this one, we're going to put strings of text together and the delimiter is going to be a space. We're going to ignore empty and ignore empty we can put true or this that's the default. I'm going to put true. And for Scott B. Johnson, I can use a range. Scott B. Johnson done and text join is a little bit faster. So if I had to use one of these five, I would use Flashville first. If that works, then I'm happy. The second one I'd probably use is text join. Unless there's some reason to use a formula, I'd probably use concat and concatenate toward the end. But it's something like this depends on what you need to put together and how you need to solve it. Now remember, once again, if I need to copy this down, I need to copy and paste special, right? Paste special value. So I would copy and then right click, paste special values. And that way I've got, I've transformed these from a formula function into Scott B. Johnson and so on. Hey, thanks for watching.